This is a July 2019 tutorial of how to install iSpoofer for Pokemon Go on the iPhone. Uh, this is an iPhone uh, 10R. I'm showing this on. First, you want to go to iSpoofer.com to install um, iSpoofer for Pokemon Go. Tap the blue lines up here and go to products and iSpoofer for Pogo. Go to the install iOS button, and there's uh, you can tap the green one or the install links uh, alternate ins ins install links at the bottom. Uh, a lot of times they're not there, and you can also get it from App Volley as well. Sometimes with this, it takes one or two installs. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to do it more than once um, f to get the joystick to show up, I notice. So now you should see your uh, icon being drawn in on your, uh, or being loaded on your um, home screen. And after it's finished installing, if you tap it now, it uh, won't let you into it. You first have to go into settings general device management and trust the uh, developer or trust the source yeah now go back to the app and now uh, it will run this one's your choice but for this one uh, allow uh, access to your location it needs you to to press allow if you press don't allow it won't work uh, and then it's the usual login <coughs> But you notice that off to the side, uh, there's that button. It's kind of the logo of iSpoofer, or here. Now the app starts in wherever your location is in the real world. So right now you're, uh, you know, if you're sitting in New York, it loads the app in uh, New York. To teleport or like spoof to another location you have to uh, tap the logo and here and put your coordinates in so if you have a, a, a favorite area you can put them in there I use uh, Disneyland and I have the coordinates saved uh, once do the snipe button and put your coordinates in and hit OK. Give it a couple seconds to uh, do anything. And that's only if you haven't uh, spun a wheel before. If you spun the wheel or spun a Pokestop, um, you should give it at the very least 20 minutes or more before spinning in the new location or it just won't work or you might get you know, banned. With any of this, you should uh, you, you know, use a new account or an account you don't care about. This account was created with iSpoofer. It's never, you know, used the real Pokemon Go. It's only done uh, the the Spoofer, you know, version. So, uh, so never use your real account with this, because you know, there's always that chance you might get um, banned. Now you're in the area, and right now uh, the Team Rocket event is going on, and there's been questions on the um, channel if if iSpoofer will work with the uh, Team Rocket event. And yes, it will. You just have to go to an area where you know there are a lot of Pokestops and find one of the Pokestops that's kind of wiggling at the top. When you get closer, it, it, it begins getting darker and darker. And you can see that kind of cube at the top jiggling. It, and, and you know that that one there is a Team Rocket one. Even though we don't see the R yet, we know that it's going to turn into one for sure. See all these other ones there's no i don't see another one around oh one over there but this one for sure is a team rocket one and if we get closer oh yeah in there 
the aura appears and there's a guy beside it. And the quests uh, work as well. It doesn't matter that you're, you're not there, you know, physically. And are there uh, exact coordinates to get to the Team Rocket Pokestop? No, I would just pick a place where you know there's uh, a lot of Pokestops. Because they have been around uh, um, a lot since the event has um, started. rare one to find is um, Shadow Snorlax and I I have a few already but I don't have him. I've even found Dratini but I haven't found Shadow Snorlax yet so that's the rare one. Yeah and it's definitely acting like I'm right there. Oh it's rewarding me with Stardust so I've done 21 of the Team Rocket you know, battles so far. And this one's just a Rattata one. Some of these features don't work if you have the pro version. If you uh, don't have the pro version of Ice uh Yeah, see, any of those, if you tap the uh, kind of tracker over here, it just says requires of acti activation. So I kind of get rid of that because all of that, you know, you can't really use if you have the free, free version. This one is like the map of the area. <coughs> and it shows, of course, yeah, wh where you are, what's around. Oh, so yeah, and that feature is a pro feature, I guess, too. And then settings panel, quite a lot of settings. Uh, I've heard to leave enhanced throw off. That's where it uh, makes it so every throw is uh, excellent. But that's a way that they can catch you and ban you. So I leave that off. So uh, be sure to try out um, I, um, I Spoof with the Team Rocket event and comment if yours uh, worked and installed. Please like and subscribe for more Pokemon Go I Spoofer videos. <laughs>